What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out Guacamelee 2. The sequel to a game that I actually liked a lot. I played the first Guacamelee a bit and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I thought it was a remarkably solid Metroidvania punch em up luchador game. And so anyways, we're back right now to see if we can continue the success of the first game. So let's dive straight on in and let's play some Guacamelee. Previamente en Guacamelee. Juan, this way! Kalaka has captured Lupita! He's about to merge the worlds of the living and the dead! This will be challenging for you, even in your prime! Don't worry, Juan. You've got this. I don't know that I do. We've had our differences, but I believe in you, mi amigo. Fight fiercely. What are you waiting for? Time waits for no luchador! So we can punch. We've got like a grabby move right there. We've got like a mega punch. We've got jump. I don't know what the hell that... Oh yeah, if I remember right, you gotta shift the color of the world to beat through people with different colored shields. If I remember right. One! How dare you interrupt my moment. Your words are as empty as your soul, you ugly charro. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a luchador? A miserable pile of little secrets. But enough talk. Have at you! Dude, I am gonna, I am gonna mucha lucha the smile off that face. Ow, my ass! Yo, I just caught a whooping. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh my god, that beat down. Good lord. Oh, I, mm, we fade through him. We fade, oh no, my ass again! My ass is just getting destroyed right now. It is having the worst day ever. I'm gonna get a couple more. Oh no, you ain't getting me. You ain't getting me. We already we already played with that noise right there. Oh, you ain't getting me again. I found your pattern, son. I'm gonna beat the danglies off that hat. Nope. Ain't gonna do it. I only got one hit off right there. We're far enough back. Get a couple in right there. Work them just a little bit. Oof. Luchador. You were lucky I spent all of my energy on the ritual. But you were too late for the black sun arrives. Come, witness the merging of life and death in the beginning of my new world order! <laughs> the power, I can feel it welling inside of me. Well, that's not good. I am Kalaka, god of the living and the dead. Now tremble under my rule. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I feel good about this fight. This fight definitely feels like something's about to go wrong my ass. Oh my good sweet lord, what is happening right now? Okay, apparently I can throw those at him. So maybe that'll do some damage. Dude, I am getting worked on right now. Oh my good sweet lord. Baby Jesus. I'm gonna jump. Ah, there was two of them. I thought there was only gonna be one. I thought there was only gonna be one. You fooled me. You used shenanigans and trickery. I'm gonna keep throwing giant magma space rocks at you. Oof. Ow. Ow. Ow again. Good lord, dude. I'm getting batted around right now. At least I dodged that right there. It was mostly by luck, but... I feel pretty good about it. I dodged at least one attack this entire fight. I'm going to go underneath those. And then we go throw another one of those. Ooh, get leveled. That's right. I played terribly, and I was still allowed to win. See? I'm okay with this resolution. What's up, lady? Was I able to rescue you? My one true love lady? How you doing? Look at me doing my muscly jump kicks over here.
thought a luchador could never take off his mask because if he loses his mask, he like loses his power or something like that. Isn't that the rule in Mexican wrestling? Like, is it like you lose your honor or something like that? I remember if a luchador gets his mask pulled off by somebody else, it's a really big deal. Like, it's, it's not what they want. Apparently, I've grown fat and lethargic. Papa, are you looking at your posters again? It's playtime. See, that's why you don't have kids right there, because then you get fat. That's just like a rule of the universe. Apparently, I've still got attacks ready to go, but they feel a little bit slower than they used to be. Let's go have playtime with the kids. Although, I think our special attack is probably upgraded to like a belly bump now. Uh, Silito, have you seen the kids? I guess I'm gonna have to eat all the ice cream by myself. Mm, I think they're calling my bluff. It sounds like we gotta go eat all the ice cream then. I would never let a child call my bluff like that. I'd be like, please believe all of this Ben and Jerry's gonna be gone. I might actually eat all the ice cream. See a woman after my own heart. I love ice cream. Ice cream is one of the best things ever invented. Oh, they showed up. Who's hungry for tacos? Me, 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 me. Everybody loves tacos. They're amazing. Well, they're almost ready. Esperanza, Juanito, get off the table. That's true. Juanito don't even got shoes. And so he got, like, dirty foot all over the table now. Uh, we're almost out of avocados. Your father must have eaten them all. Juan, maybe the market is still open. Do you think he'd go pick some up? I have to finish my dissertation. All right, so I guess I'll go get some, some avocados, I suppose. Are the avocados to the left, or are the avocados to the right? I don't know, but all these aloe bushes make me... They're giving me flashbacks and nightmares to being back in the desert, alright? I don't mess around with... I don't mess around with aloe vera bushes. Those things hurt. Pueblucho! Alright, so what's in Pueblucho? A stupid chicken? That's right, chicken. Please believe, I still got these hands. It's our hero, Juan! I can never thank you enough for saving us in the last game. Come down at my restaurant someday. I'll hook you up. One free appetizer on me. That's that's a little stingy for saving the world. Like, I'm not trying to be a jerk or nothing. I'm just saying, one free appetizer for saving the planet? Juan, it's so nice to see you out and about. I know Lupita worries sometimes. You'll have to bring the family over again for dinner sometime soon. My new tortilla soup recipe is going to knock your calcetines off. Ah, <laughs> oh, Juan, the old hero emerges from his slumber. I haven't seen you run since the Great Tortilla Scare. How's the familia? Avocados? Well, you better hurry. I saw Frey I -I -I around the corner at the vendors. He looked hungry. Seems like just yesterday when we were rivals and Kalaka was defeated. Things have changed, mi amigo. I'm gonna talk to this lady up here, though. What's up, lady? We don't see many luchadors around these parts anymore. I see you're still wearing your belt proudly after all these years, though. Alright, let me go see if I can wrangle up some avocados before things go wrong. Uh, Juan, you looking for avocados? Frey bought them all today, sorry. Maybe you should go see him in the church. Alright, let's go Let's go talk to this guy and be like, Hey, hey, hey. My familia. Me familia needs avocados, man. Uh, oh, Juan, you would like some avocados? See, I had a full barrel earlier today, but I'm almost out. Tell you what, get rid of the empty barrel for me and I'll give you a few for my private stash. Alright, well, let's break down this barrel right here and get our cardio in. Can I body slam it? No, I just have to keep working on it. Can I charge up a punch or anything? Doesn't look like it. Sorry, I thought it'd be easier. Here you go. Caramba, what was that? Juan, can you go see what's happening? Those weird black things just appeared. I know! Juan, one of those black things is on the town statue, too. Esqueletos! <laughs> uh, save us, Juan. That's just Spanish for skeleton. That's all it is. Oh, Juan's gonna, Juan's gonna put some hands on these skeletons. Please believe, Esqueletos ain't got nothing to, they ain't got nothing to threaten me with. Juan! Sorry about the skeletons, but I'm glad I found you, man. Quickly, we gotta travel to the darkest timeline. The Mexiverse is in grave danger. Please, there's no time to explain. Jump through the portal. I'll meet you on the other side. But, like, I'm old and fat now. Are you sure? I guess you should go. It sounds like they really need you. We'll be okay. Papa, you broke a skeleton. 
Bring me back an al... I don't even... Alabrije? I don't know what that word is, Dad. One, be careful. Alright, let's go through the portal and hopefully this works out. God, dude, I wish I had guacamole right now. If I had guacamole at the moment, oh, it'd be so good. Oh, this isn't right at all. This feels about halfway there, like we're in some kind of purgatory. But it's definitely not the darkest timeline. Yeah, this looks like a limbo timeline. Are we sure this is where we want to be? Come on, it can't be much further. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the timeline where we get sued. Let's get out of here quick before the lawyers arrive. Oh, uh, are we doing River City Ransom right now? Oh, it's on now. Oh, you don't want none. Triple Dragon, River City Ra Yeah, Rivera City Ransom. Yep, I knew it. El Presidente has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you a bad enough hombre to rescue El Presidente? No, come here, Juan. We don't got to get sidetracked. This is the baddest timeline, not the darkest. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty with these portals. I'm feeling good about the next jump, though. Andale! This is it. This is the darkest timeline. This way, please. Alright, that's a sassy goat right there. That's a, that's a sassy Chivo. Can I break the doors down or anything? Or is that not something that is going to work out? He has a backpack full of, like, what are those, tulips? I can barely believe it, senores. My chivos, it was horrible. Please describe what happened. I was just fixing up my bike when Salvador, you know, the Salvador, the one that killed Kalaka, showed up. He had a gang of weirdos with him. A magician, a doghead lady, a talking cactus. Careful, boss. The top one's not a step. The suspense is killing me again! Growgle burgle barg! What? No, I'm the brains. You're the muscle. Silence. I need to prepare my monologue. But first... Ah, the golden relic. Soon I will reach the Molcajete. And its sacred contents will give me strength. Sorry, I had some salsa stuck in my throat. Anyways, I'm still as strong as ever. <coughs> Yo, did you just itch your nuts while giving me... Like, I, I don't think that you're supposed to scratch your nuts while you're showing off the plot right now. Like, I'm pretty sure that can wait until after the plot synopsis. Uh, the Golden Relic, that can mean trouble. Also, after Salvador took the relic, strange black things began to appear in the sky. The skeletons are becoming more frequent, no bones about it. Oh, you're back, Chivo24. I didn't see you there. We're just, uh... Wait a minute. Please don't tell me that's the one. Yep, this is the last one left alive. The very one I told you about. He defeated Kalaka in his timeline, saved Lupita, and survived. Incredible. This is the one? Yep. Alright, well, only surviving one. Step forward. Have you heard of the three legendary relics? Nope. Salvador has taken one of the three relics created by the God of Time. But disturbing these relics could cause the timelines to collapse in on themselves. So, Salvador's evil ambition may very well lead to... <gasps> the end of the Mexiverse. <laughs> One, go and find the mass guardian Tostada in the mangrove swamp to the east. Los Manglares. 
Tostada will help you find the sacred mask. You're going to need it if you hope to stop Salvatore. All right, man. Let's go do it. It's time for us to apparently go to Los Manglares. About to do this thing. We about to be hyped and up in here. This dude's in his swim trunks when the world's on fire. I'm pretty sure that you picked the wrong you picked the wrong outfit for this. That's the opposite of what you should be wearing when the world is burning down. The darkest timeline of got oh it's agave. It's not aloe vera. Gotcha. I thought they seemed a little big for aloe agave. That's that's the word I was looking for. Gotcha. I gotta practice. I gotta stretch out here. I gotta limber up with my jump kicks. All right, so just kind of limber on out here. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god, we died in this timeline. Worst day ever. So, like, is it possible to go in there? Or is that, like, for later? I don't know. It's all sparkly, but I pushed every button and also up, and so it didn't work. Maybe once I get the mask, I can go back through there. Let's go ahead and drop back down real quick. And what are we looking at here? We got some skeletons. Some monsters, something that needs to be... Oh, look at your dumb ass falling into the water. Oh my god, I didn't even need to fight you. You did it all by your lonesome. There wasn't even any strategy involved in that fight. I just stood there and you did the rest of the work for... Oh, you better get that thing away from me. You better... You better... Back it up like a dump truck, my dude. Oh my god, he tried to murder me. Then again, I got like 10 more pesos, so that's pretty dope. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with that just yet, because I think I need the thing that... I need the mask that allows me to shift dimensions or whatever so that I can jump on all those little things if I remember the first game right. That was the hard thing about the first game is you had to shift the colors in between your combos to break shields off and stuff like that, and it was tough. Juan? It is you. Hey, Chivo really did it, that crazy goat. It's me, Tostada, Guardian of the Mask. You remember? It's really strange seeing you again. Nice mustache, though. Thick. We were so close to defeating Kalaka in this timeline, Juan. I swear, we won't make the same mistake with Salvador. Just hold still, close your eyes, and this is only going to take a second. Did you just karate chop me to death while bringing me here under a banner of truce? This definitely means war. This, mean, this means guerra. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. A guerra. I don't know. It's something like that. Guerra? I don't know if you say the G or not in that one. Sometimes you say the G, and sometimes the G make an H sound. It's hard to know. Can I do anything with that? Like, chickens, what are you doing right now, chickens? Chickens, why are you trying to play me like this? Hey, it's the mask! All right. Uh, so sorry about killing you back there. I had to get you back to the world of the dead. Anyways, look, here it is. It's a bit tattered from the last adventure, but it is waiting for you, Juan, so go on before you turn into a skeleton. Na -na -na -na. Yo, that's a workout program right there. Where can I get a piece of that workout where I just, like, put on a mask and I get super swole? I need some of that in my life. That's the one I remember, although I do kind of miss the mustache. Uh, now we just need to get you back to the world of the living. The castle can help with that. They're further east in Pantaneo, in the swamp town. Let's go, Juan. I'll be around if you need me. Okay. Apparently, additional characters may now join me on my quest for tostadas. Because who doesn't love a good and delicious tostada? I love tostadas. I hope that you love tostadas. They are delicious. They are nutritious. I love the music in this game. The music in this game is so awesome. Yeah, I kicked that fool over there. Oh, I gotta get away from that bone, though. That dude threw his bone at me. Uh-oh. Oh, you ain't getting me. You ain't getting me right now. No, sir. I'm going over that bone. Uh, catch one to the dome, homie. And up in the air. And then with combos on him. Yup, I remember Guacamele now. It's been a while since I played, but I remember. I'm lucha -ing. Oh, apparently I'm luchinating. I'm, I'm not going to let you go. Oh, he's trying to get me. This dude thought I didn't know. There we go. We'll just sit him down. Ow, my ass. It hath been busted. What you want to do? What you want to do, homeboy? Oh, I thought I could grab him straight away. I think I got to... 
I think I gotta grind on him a little bit first. Put some put some heat on him. There we go. Let's fix him on up. Kick this dude into the wall. Mm, take him out. A little bit of a combo right there. Ru oh, we got a piñata? Yeah, buddy. Let's go. I got a little bit of health back right there and a whole bunch of cash. Best piñata ever. Piñatas never had money in them when I was a kid. They always had candy in them. Apparently, I gotta dodge roll through this. Yo, that dude got a knife. This dude got this dude got a shiv. I was gonna say I timed that last one wrong. It's okay though, I can live with it now. It's all coming back, all coming back to me now. There were punches of gold and there were flashes of light. Ow. I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to fall in there. Yeah, that's going to take some effort right there. I'm going to have to time that one out just right. That little dude's just going to fall into the water for me, so I ain't going to worry about him. Don't do it. Don't do it, little bro. Don't do it. I don't think that throw is going to go far enough, but it did look good. Oh, you can dive in midair, too. Well, that kind of helps out. That makes things a lot more simple. I think I'm probably going to get a double jump at some point, too. It's going to help me get up to some, one of those higher spots. Uh, big enemies can't be stunned. Use dodge to avoid their attacks. Yo, that dude got a big old arm on him. Good lord. Then again. Oh, I pressed I pressed the trigger, but you know. Sometimes things go the way you want, sometimes they don't. Oh, right to the side of the head. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. You need to get your ass up. Oh, there's more of Oh my god. Bad things are happening. Ow! That hurt so much. That also stung. That was also equally unpleasant. I need you to stop it. There we go. That was what I was looking for. And I still caught that one to the side of the dome. It's hard out here, man. I'm catching a whooping right now. Yeah, let me let me get that. I'm going to need some more health. Go ahead and fill that meter up because if you don't, it ain't going to be long for this. Oh, I can dodge in the air too. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. I got ahead of myself. Sometimes I wonder if the people that play these tutorials have ever played a platformer before. Yeah, right into the side of it. I had a feeling something was going to go wrong like that. I'm going to jump up here. Yup. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Straight up into the air, bounce them and take them out. Yep, just like Smash. Just like Smash. Looks like there's some kind of magical secret treasure chest over here. Yeah, I'll take all that good stuff. Line my pockets. What's the point in being a Mexiverse hero if you can't make a couple pesos on the side, man? You gotta you gotta get paid out here. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get the spike fatality right there. Perfect. I don't know what those are right there, but I assume they change around once I get the mask power. Press down. Yeah, I'm... I was hoping it would tell me how to interact with those blocks, but it didn't. Change your costume? Yeah, I want to have a different costume. Apparently, there's a bunch of different costumes you can play as. Probably some dope... Yo, that one got a chicken, though. I want to be a chicken. Apparently, I can play as Tostada if I want to. That sounds pretty cool, because Tostada's pretty dope. She got, like, a ninja thing going on. And I'll be honest, it's really working for me right now. I wasn't sure what my plan was right there. Oh, the, whip, the, the attacks go through... The collision, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, cool, we got ourselves another piece of a heart right there, so we can expand our health bar. Hmm. I believe that kick left something to be desired. Like, I wish that that kick was a little bit more cogent, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. Oof. Ouchie. Didn't expect that one. Yeah, these little Menehune guys over here trying to take me out. What's up with you? What like what do you do? Juan, Tostada! Finally, Dios mio, my butt was getting numb from hiding in that position. You're really looking like a proper luchador now, Juan, but flashy garb means nothing without the fundamentals. You'll need to get reacquainted with your proper moves if you're gonna face Salvador. 
In case you forgot, Chuzo statues hold the secrets of the ancient luchador techniques. The one you rudely just destroyed contained the legendary Rooster Uppercut. Rooster Uppercut breaks red blocks and can be performed in the air. But if you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while, and that's what you get for neglecting your training. Alright, so we got the Rooster Uppercut now. I think that kicks people up in the air or something like that. Oh, never mind. That's it right there. Yup. Can I break that? Ooh, I can. Nice. Okay. Oh, I don't need a double jump because I've got the I've got the rooster uppercut, and that's gonna help me get around. Makes sense. Apparently, we're luchinating right now. Ooh, that dude got fractured. Yup. I'm pretty sure that's how they want me to deal with those. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys fixed up first. Throw that dude back towards the corner. I didn't know something else was gonna spawn behind me. Yay, another piñata! Got him. Got him. Oh, I probably should have thrown him upwards. That probably would have been smarter. That probably would have been the play. But oh well. I borked it now already. I almost killed myself right there too. Because I am not a bright man. Love the combo system in this game, though. Once you start to get a feel for it, you can play around with cooler ideas. It was the same way in the first game, where you really wanted to play around with the ricochet mechanic and, like, the comboing, because that is the main attractive portion of this game. I mean, obviously, you've got the silky smooth visuals. you got everything looking amazing in an aesthetic sense. Ooh, broke that shield, though. Broke that shield, though. Ooh, straight up into the air. Alright, so I'm going to get you fixed up real fast for a little bit of a whipping over here. I was pretty sure that wasn't going to work for me, but it did knock him down so that I could make a safer approach. And that sounds alright to me. Piñata! Got him! Uh, this game is called Guacamole 2. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It helps out more than you know. Uh, I was a big fan of the first game. That counted, really. Okay. I wasn't ready for that to count, I guess. But I was a big fan of the first game. I thought it was really, really great. So, like, if you never checked out the first game, play the first game first because the mechanics seem to be very similar in this one. Play the first game so that you can get the storyline and everything else and, like, a feel for the controls. Then play the second one because, honestly, they're both really, really good, like, must-have indie games. I promise. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Oh, I ran out of energy. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Splatty's not about that life. I wouldn't steer you wrong. And so anyways, thank you for stopping on by. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I will see you all later. My name is Splattercat. I am a variety caster here on the internet who does all kinds of random games and sifts through the pile to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. All right, I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by and joining me. If you wanted to support me even further, you can go to the Patreon and check that out, but it's never expected or necessary. I will see you all later. Hi to everybody.